Hi, this is Brad Linder, and this is a USB flash drive. This is not. It looks sort of like one, although it's clearly a little bit bigger. But it's actually pretty tiny for what it is, which is a fully functional desktop-style computer. It's got two USB ports, a micro USB port power. Under the hood, it's got a processor, memory storage, and even a little fan. And on the other side, there's an SD card or micro SD card reader for removable storage. And instead of a USB connector on this end, it's an HDMI connector. The idea is that you plug it into your TV, hook up a power source, and then connect a keyboard, mouse, remote control, anything else, and you can run full-fledged Windows applications on your computer. But why would you want to do that? I decided to interview Bruce Patterson at Intel to get a better idea of who this is for and, and what Intel sees people doing with these. This is the second generation model. The first one came out in 2015. And in 2016, Intel is releasing a version with a more powerful processor. And uh, later in the year, there will be an even more powerful version with sort of the guts of what you would find in an Ultrabook. Uh, I also spoke with Ian Morrison, who is an Australian software developer who has been figuring out how to get Ubuntu and other software like Chromium OS to run on these. And that's what, uh, what the second episode of the LPX show is all about. You can uh, get a taste of it here and find out more details at lpxshow.com or subscribe in iTunes, Stitcher, or anywhere else that you get your podcasts. You can also get the latest news by subscribing to our RSS feed or liking us on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. There was a time when computers took up whole rooms. These days you can carry one around in your pocket. There's a new class of PC sticks that look like USB flash drives, but they're basically tiny desktop computers. It's nice to be able to have this literally in your pocket. If you imagine you're a salesperson and you go into somebody's conference room and you want to share something on their projector, it might be easiest to plug your compute stick into the back of their projector and now your computer is just displaying up there on their screen. And one day, you might not even need a separate PC at all. You don't carry an instant camera around with you anymore. You've got your phone for that. You don't need your torch. You don't need your alarm clock when you're traveling. You've got your phone, etc. And the ability to be able to just plug your phone into the back of the TV and then being able to run everything on the big screen, I think, is, is great. Coming up on LPX, a look at the current state of PC sticks and maybe a glimpse into the future of these tiny desktop computers.